Welcome everybody back to round two of Operation Rawhide, hosted by SquadOps.gg, a One Life event community. If you want to check out more about our content, head over to youtube.com slash squadops or twitch.tv slash squadops. And if you'd like to learn more about squad and uh, squad ops um, and its role in the squad community, check out squadops.gg. Uh, my name is Karmacut. I'm the director and founder over here at Squad Ops, and I'm joined by Tedish, one of our commentators and uh, admins here at Squad Ops. Why don't you say hello, Ted? Hey guys, how's everyone doing for round two? Rahad, yeehaw. <laughs> round two, starting off here. We're going to be starting here very soon. Squads are getting all, all set and ready for platoon brief. Uh, at Squad Ops, we do have platoon briefs in addition to our one life, just so that everyone knows uh, the plan is on the same page before the command dies. Uh, joining us again is, uh, excuse me, Penn, who is our mixer, a man behind the, uh, the scenes, working all those multi uh, POVs together. And he's going to be... Uh, helping us out with the stream he yeah, makes the stream look very professional so all of you always ask oh wow how's the stream so professional looking it's all because pen and our content creation team put together an amazing package for you guys so big thank you to pen uh who's uh, working behind the scenes here today he never says anything he's, he's a really stoic yes yeah, he's, 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 he's a myth He's a, he's a ghost here at Squad Us. But yeah, pretty much we're going to be starting off with round two. Looks like the U.S. is going to be opting for the mechanized path. Uh, yeah, we're going to roll the overlay here to show you the assets that we're starting out with for both teams. Uh, as you can see, the GLs, infantry assets, as well as the vehicle assets. You can see the MRAPs and Strikers, Logies and Trans will come into play uh, if the U.S. so chooses. Uh, INS gets vehicle scrounging plus scouts for mines and other things like that. Dishkas, FOB assets and emplacements. So it's going to be a pretty exciting operation. Almost every element of squad in play in this op, uh, from the vehicles to the weapon assets to the base building. So yeah, Ted, what do you what do you think so far after watching round one? What was your favorite part of this op? Uh, I mean, it had to have been the uh, the ambush in the very beginning. I don't know if it was an actual like planned ambush or whether it was just an opportunity ambush, but it worked out great. Wait, crossfire going, SPGs going off, hitting their targets, casualties on both sides. It's a great way to start an op. Probably not exactly the way that the U.S. thought it was going to start and definitely led to some chaos, um, but it was great to watch. That's for sure. Good to learn Yeah, it was from. great fun to watch. Good learning uh, we opportunity saw, yeah. for everybody. <laughs> Yeah, big learning opportunity. Um, so yeah, this is a U.S. versus INS operation. U.S. has to disable a, fob, a jammer fob in the village south of the airfield, and the INS, of course, tasked to protect it. So we'll see what kind of strategy the uh, U.S. employs on this run. Uh, previously, they chose the it chose the infantry route, which gave them more supplies, um, but less vehicles. Right now, I think Shadowed Ritual, the command for the U.S. this time, is going to be taking that mechanized okay, route, grabbing those two strikers. Let's take a look at the squad leaders for this operation. For squad one, round two uh, for the U.S. is Hamley. Squad two is Paradise. Squad three is Server Error. Four is Hitchens. And commanding the U.S. for round two is Shadowed Ritual. On the opposite team for Insurgents, we have Google Trex for squad one, Best Pony for squad two, Nacho for squad three, Xbit for squad four, and commanding the Insurgents this round is CMYK matter so we'll see how uh the outcomes differ both in strategy both from strategy and in command uh previous round one we saw the u.s failed to complete their primary objective and suffered massive casualties leading to the whole uh wipe of the platoon we'll see if the u.s can actually succeed on their objective this time and uh what kind of defense the insurgents will put up well, it looks like so the insurgents get to start what one squad in the objective itself in the village, and then everyone else comes as reinforcements from insurgent main, where they can also scrounge vehicles and uh, set up any kind of flank they want because they know that the U.S. are coming. So we'll see. It looks like based on maps uh, marks I'm seeing on the map, I think I saw that the U.S. are going to push their strikers directly to the southwest and set up an Overwatch fire, which is like. A little bit more direct than we saw last time. I don't think they're going to go into the city. Um, yeah, just set up Overwatch with their, you know, 50 cals with uh, optics, and then support their infantry push in. The infantry has what one, two, three, three bridges and one river crossing that they can use. So that's plenty of entrances. Even if one or two of them's blocked off, they can find another entrance in. So it could be a little bit more direct, um, more intense firefight, more concentrated action. It should be good. Yeah, we'll we're going to look at the strikers that the uh, U.S. is deciding to employ. We'll pull up an overlay with the stats, uh, but the striker eight 
the biggest, baddest uh, piece of armor right now in squad. Uh, it's one main threat is either the hat kit from the insurgents or the 30 millimeter BTR. As you can see, this thing is beefed up on the defense. It's got a 50 cal crow system on the top, so it can deal a lot of damage at range with those optics without exposing the gunner. This thing is a I is essentially a uh, armored personnel carrier with insane defensive and offensive capabilities. Um, but yeah, we're going to see how the U.S. decides to use these in this operation and how effective they will be on the battlefield. I think I just saw one uh, one good question a little bit ago that Atrick has fielded in the Twitch chat, which is he's saying who who are these people? Like, how you know how do we get involved in this? Are these just like random people that are playing, or is it you know these all part of one clan or whatever? And I just think it's important to say that um, yeah, these are just everybody who came and joined our community, Squad Ops GG. Uh, there's a light barrier to entry where you gotta, you know, take take our little training course, gets everyone on the same <laughs> same uh, same page. But uh, yeah, there's nothing nothing immensely special about anyone here. We all just like playing the same game. Everyone's mature and uh, you know wants to have a good time playing these ops. Yep, U.S. now getting ready for their platoon brief. We're gonna listen in and see what the U.S. plan is and uh, see how it differs from the first round. Be able to come mm. up a Hesco wall, wouldn't you? Like they, yeah, they behind me and uh, yeah, 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 Okay, give me comms. Good job last round, everybody. That was awesome. Everybody did amazing, except me. I died doing something stupid. But uh, the plan is now to dig the dirty insurgents out of that village. They're jamming our shit, and we're going to destroy it so we can use our shit again. The plan is as follows. Squad 1 will be taking squad 1 and squad 2 in the transport. Squad 1 in charge of the, uh, the transports, so you're, so you're just going to dismount wherever uh, squad 2 puts you. Squad 3 will be taking the MRAPs. You will take six people uh, in uh, two MRAPs to go pick up the, the last MRAP on the friendly fob mark. The uh, remainder of his squad is going to mount up in one of the transports and they're going to be a part of the initial assault. Uh, squad 4 will be taking two strikers. We're going the mechanized option of this uh, op. And he's going to take two strikers with his squad. Uh, and uh, the remainder of his squad is going to load up with the striker and gonna dismount at the, uh, the uh, initial assault point. And uh, they're going to be a part of that. This is going to be a mass like river crossing, and it, it could go amazing or it could go terribly. So we're open for amazing. We're going to cross on this bridge. Uh, infantry is going to dismount on the transports around this mark. We're going to have striker cover close to close close ish to the bridge to watch as the initial cross, and we're just going to basically blitz our way there and cross before the rest of their the rest of the platoon can get there to reinforce them. We're just going to try and kill the, the 12 there as fast as possible and then uh, harden up in the village. Uh, squad 3, they're, they're two, or they're three air maps after they pick up the third one. They're going to move to support us on the south side of the village. So wherever they see it, uh, patrol on the south side of the village. And then air maps after the initial crossing, they're going to be patrolling the northwest and try and get into the village maybe. It all depends if we can deal with their hats and their lots. Are there any questions? So we're just yep. rushing them, right? You, we're gonna rush them. Yes, that is the plan. Yes, balls to the wall. Yes. We're not gonna wait for that second MRAP or anything. So. No, we're no. going in there fucking hardcore with two strikers defending us. We're gonna push into the northwest part of village. Just basically run in. Once we're in this part of village, we can start pushing our way to the east. And after we get our foothold, then we can reevaluate how we're gonna uh, continue pushing through village if we're still taking contact. But the initial goal, you should just be getting into one of those buildings on the uh, north north part of village. It's a good just plan. Don't, I don't say, fight uh, out of the, we, the idea. Can we can uh, we can we get a secondary bridge designated that way? Swap the five. If that one doesn't work. If that if they have like an ID or a mine on that one. Um, secondary bridge will be this bridge on the. Uh, the uh, assault rifle mark. That one's a pretty, another pretty easy bridge to cross, especially because you got the two options. You need to go west or north, or west or east. But this cross. is going to be our, our main bridge. If the vehicles can't cross on this because it's like a, like a land bridge, 
So if vehicles need to get across, they need to use an actual, like, a proper bridge. Basically. And we're not gonna put a fob down anywhere. We can't get a fob. We're uh, we're going the mechanized option. The mechanized option, oh, we I get see. two strikers. If we had gone the gotcha. infantry option, we would have got four more GLs and a uh, a fob and an extra uh, squad lead. Okay, so cool. I wanted to try outside. I want to see if the uh, the vehicles are gonna do better than the uh, the infantry. Because we had they had uh, trouble pushing us through look. fields and stuff. And if we had strikers covering us. Yeah. Of course they're going to be better. We got this. Oh yeah, no. We... I'm hoped for 2-0 today, guys. Let's do this. Are there any uh, questions? So we're doing a channel okay. or yeah, your yeah. Leroy Jenkins? Gifts. Cool. No, if the question is squad leads, break them out, final details, yeah, get them loaded question, up. Yeah, I have a question. Oh, question. Yeah, sorry, 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 go ahead. Uh, do, we, do we smoke before crossing or we just cross? Um, if you smoke, uh, you're probably not going to be able I'll to be develop up front. the entire I'll time. I'll be up front. I'll throw a smoke. Yeah, don't call for smoke. Don't charge it. Yeah. If you're going to smoke, All right, U.S. is oh, ready. Do, uh, you can see U.S. in between now pushing in the uh, MRAPs. Right. Insurgents yeah, yeah, are all ready too. They're all lined up in this gorgeous line here. So who's driving trans? Uh, I am. One is. One's in charge of both trans. Looks like we're live in just over a minute. Yeah, we're live-ish. Nope. We're all just in position. So live 30 seconds. Five. Let's see where this wolf pack heads out to. They got three Dishka Techies, one SBG, and a Rocket Techie. We're ready to tear out. Oh, four. Four Dishkas, excuse me. Doesn't help me either. Cool, this making sure you drop you. I'm from Germany, yeah. so it doesn't help me either. Like this. Uh, well, well, we'll see like, if they who, try to go scrounge up some more car? vehicles. There's, a, I believe, another I SPG techie they can really grab up in Mosk. I, 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 who's the gunner in the first vehicle? I think we can pull up some uh, overlay here for the SPG techie. It's a great vehicle, one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> I just don't have the stats in front of me, but the uh, the hit and run you can do with this thing is absolutely fantastic. Highly mobile, does a lot of damage. Limited rounds, but uh, if you know what you're doing, you can hit with it, hit and run. And we've also got the uh, RD Techie. Hard to use effectively, but uh, Karma knows something about that. <laughs> All right, yeah, starting this off pretty strong. The uh, U.S. has now split into two groups. We've got the two MRAPs moving to the uh, pick up the third MRAP, and then these two strikers screening for the infantry squads pushing in directly the objective. Really cool formation we have here. We have both the strikers on the left side of the column, and both the trans on the right hand side. You can see these strikers kind of pro uh, protecting these vehicles, uh, screening in front of them, and we're gonna see uh, how close they'll get before they actually reach contact. Um, <laughs> Looks nearly like, getting uh, run off the sand dunes here by the striker, uh, but yeah, both these strikers here now now on on the field. Insurgents are going to see and hear this uh, relatively quick and no, quick. And now that the uh, U.S. went for the mechanized route, uh, they're pushing fast and hard along the power lines here. Both teams are pushing hard and fast. All the vehicles are going straight. Every everyone is going straight into the point except for those two. Yeah, everyone's mobilized and moving. Get up on me and get your guys dropped. SPG, you're gonna have eyes up. Look west. Oh, shoot. They're crossing That's right away. Oh my god, they're gonna cross the land bridge right here. Full infantry squads dismount. This is the entire infantry platoon right here now crossing with aggression. Oh my god, this is so oversaturated. Fire. If there was an IED on this bridge, <laughs> if there was an IED, oh, one, one hat go, or a lat goes out on the uh, striker to the north, he gets tagged. Striker to the north gets hatted. That's one striker right off the back and that gets, goes down. I don't think it's going to matter too much, though. All of the infantry got into the city uncontested. They are Trading a striker for a U.S. push right here. Squad leader Hamley goes down to a TK. That's going to mess with uh, unit cohesion. <laughs> 
Now that all the U.S. has north, is one north, striker north. over here on the, the uh, south, northwest. The MRAPs. Yeah, the MRAPs moving all hard and fast. The They're getting engaged on by Adishi. You can see these long-range 400 meter shots pinging the sides of the vehicles. They might end up squeezing the insurgents here. We have three insurgent vehicles, one SPG truck, two uh, Dishkas, but these MRAPs, if they come up fast enough from the south, we'll be able to counteract all this uh, insurgent improvised armor. And now U.S. is slowly pushing in on the objective. U.S. command goes down in the fury of gunfights happening in the alleys here. And we're starting off round two with some freaking the fire. <laughs> we were talking about more concentrated... Uh battle here. Oh, and the MRAPs are going to come up on all the vehicles. MRAPs right are now. coming up behind the uh, the insurgents' vehicles. These are all going to get spotted. MRAPs now fire. engaging on the SPG, oh, 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 and these vehicles are going to go down momentarily. SPG technical gunner goes down. Three MRAPs now pushing in the south. SPG uh, vehicle goes down. There's SPG one dish in here trying to fight off these uh, MRAPs, but he's going to get spotted in a second. HMG fire covering these this uh, insurgent squad in the south. This uh, technical actually taking fire now. And uh, these two technicals doing their best to engage these vehicles, but I don't think they're going to be able to hold unless they get lat support as well. Does not look like they'll receive it. And these two technicals on the south really doing down. some absolute damage. They're taking some absolute damage. More technicals on the east, however. We still have two dishkas on the east trying to get eyes. Uh, we have one dishka over here on the far east, one on the south, and they're trying to do what they can to f catch these MRAPs, but these MRAPs are moving hard and fast. U.S. Infantry clearing their oh! alleys with aggression. One lot truck goes out and actually goes down. Explosion off to the south. That's two MRAPs left alive for the U.S., but they are making progress, distracting all the vehicles on the south and drawing all that pressure on insurgents from, from, from the south. The striker on the northwest has actually moved off to the far west. He's going to try to get different positioning to assist. And these MRAPs are securing this bridge. What I think Meanwhile, is happening is U.S. is going to try to secure this bridge on the southwest and allow that striker to roll in without having to deal with mines. We'll see how close they'll be able to get. no insurgent infantry left on the point. There's Yeah, that is correct. There's only Very one few. insurgent on the, tech, on the dishka. And they're pushing in. U.S. is pushing in with aggression, they're taking building by building. There. Alley by alley, and this di dishka last. Uh, actually, no. There's a couple insurgents here left, but this dishka is the last dish dishka that's up in the city. He's trying to lock down what he can. There's a there's a PPSH here on the south. He's trying to do what he can on the flank, but it doesn't look like insurgents are going to be able to hold this for much longer. We have about 20 U.S. soldiers now descending upon the compounds. Pushing up, you see that aggression. They're moving building to building. They're not slowing down or stopping. MRAP's moving in to assist on the eastern flank. They're putting in HMG fire on the compounds, and US has a pretty commanding control over this uh, over this area. We see the striker trying to inch in closer to the bridge. We'll see how close they get and if they can actually uh, take the uh, that bridge and get in on site. MRAP rolls in, destroys another tactical from the uh, insurgents, and these MRAPs now causing havoc. We have one raider here. I do believe he has his. AT grenade out? No, I think he's gonna get a little closer. I think he has his AT grenade out. Uh, a reminder that these uh, that these MRAPs are uh, oh that 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 insurgent goes down pretty fast. And uh, U.S. now has a commanding control Com over the city. Commanding control over the city here. Like who is left? We got one dishka, two dishkas out to the south. So I don't believe there's a single insurgent soldier left in the city. We actually have one technical down here engaging at range. He's trying to take out one of the dishes or one of the MRAPs. But he's getting acted on by the striker, and the striker completely denies that technical. This, yeah, concentrated fire. Whoa! And that violence and in action mine goes Ooh, off. ID or a mine? I'm assuming that was well. It could have been an ID. Oh, uh, that was a mine. That that destroys one of the MRAPs. And now there's a single MRAP. We can see the burning husk of that MRAP is just on fire, causing smoke in the center of the town. Uh, a couple like insurgents here on the outskirts. The one another insurgent technical goes down. This MRAP laying into this one infantryman on the side. And you could really see that violence of action, that decisive call, that aggressive maneuver by the U.S. really coming into play and nice. really devastating the insurgent defense. MRAP just so much overwhelming gunner. infantry and overwhelming armor that the insurgents just could not repel the uh, the US and US now has complete and utter control 
over the compound. One, maybe two insurgents left. We see a small firefight breaking out in the north. Uh, one insurgent locking down a door. He's going to be stuck in there with two U.S. soldiers. We'll see if they're going to be able to uh, breach and clear this last insurgent out of the compound. Just hiding under the stairs. Harry Potter style. Bandaging. This is a really small closet. Got the PPSH. It's got the right weapon for holding doors. And I think... Who's up? Who's alive for insurgents? Is that the last insurgent? Yeah, yeah. One insurgent lock just locking down the door. US trying to push him in now. Here we go. Some action maybe maybe some action. No, who was that? Keys. Keys and three zero mic oh, mic. Another frag coming in. That is a good frag. It's close. It was very close. They're gonna breach Strong after closet, that. No. Though. Pushing in now. They need to flood it. They need to flood it. There's the aggression. Don't know where it was though. He kind of just yep. pre-fires him with the saw, holds down that trigger while peeking <laughs> that, that corner, and he completely annihilates uh, that why insurgent. Why do you have the saw, we do right? have, Yeah, why? We still have uh, two uh, insurgents over here on the far south. They're caught out of the town, and then I think that's one it. Left I in think the that, town. Uh, There's where? one left in the town just north of the, uh, of the radio. Who is this? Bird person. Hold oh, him down. Holding down the town. He's scared. He hears that armor all around him. He's gonna peek a high. This is a dangerous move right here. Exposing yourself to 180 degrees when you can only Where's see. Where's that striker? It. it was out to the west. Oh, striker's here. Just crossed the bridge. That was an amazing assault by the U.S. Decisively taking the town. And uh, yeah. I wonder if there's a little bit of a uh, he knows that I know that you know that I know type of deal going on. So screw it, we're gonna go right in the front door, Southeast. and it worked out. Worked out great. Southeast. Bird person. Woo! Woo! Making the dash, the mad dash across the open field. It didn't really. Like, he didn't know where he was going on that one. He just decided to run uh, into the lion's den here. Yeah, get low. Paste that dirt. <laughs> all you see is this one insurgent among all the U.S. the U.S. Uh, silhouettes. Oh, now he's scared. Oh shit, and he's down. Striker takes him out. <laughs> <laughs> Who we got left? All that's left are these two soldiers here on the east. They're trying to get around from east to northeast. Never mind, never mind. Cancel last. Okay. I thought that was anatomy up on that roof there. Yeah, Han Von Solo and Rasta Populus. Checking out some poppy fields. Okay, are let's get poppy into fields? this compound north and then uh, move uh, to those no. fields to the yeah. north of that. Yeah, I think they are. Right. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, are they? Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah they are. Nice sprite right. poppies, 2D poppies. Not, not gonna get a lot of shit out of those, but you never know. Alright. See if we can listen in on Han Von Solo as he's trying not to shit his pants against the entire U.S. team. All right. How's their communication going in there? We can't actually can't hear them because we're not on their team. We can't hear their local chat. The guy in the is dead. Say so the guy. They're the talking. So it sounds like they're talking a decent bit here. The guy in the town is dead. Oh yeah, copy. Ooh, right, go for it. crossing that road. Does he turn around to cover his buddy? No, he's going for poppies. I hope you haven't spotted yeah. us yet. Crouching those poppies. All right, coming. Go for it. Dash across. Now, smoke itself. So it looks like the U.S. have taken 17 casualties to the insurgents' 30. Yeah, we still gotta get so in the town. So it's roughly 15 on two at this point. 
So right to our northwest, One, there's that bigger field. Five, Let's go for six, that. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, All fourteen, right. fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. All plus right, maybe another two in vehicles. Okay. Those are rough odds. <laughs> if you go straight north, you're gonna it can go be on done. the hill. Watch out. It can be done. Copy. It can be done. I'll remind you of a certain fox oh, heart. Uh oh, no. Oh, wow, now it's and tough. And they're spotted by an HMG. Spotted. Oh, is that the striker? No, it's, it's not the striker. It's the MRAP. It's the MRAP. Or, I'm sorry, 304. 304. Meet your doom. Right over this berm. Into the sun. That's brutal. Oh, and you hear that snap. <laughs> you hear that snap, and then he just gets low as that 50 cal round passes right above him. Does it have eyes on you? My smokes. Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know. Yep, Nick Conte me. reporting it over uh, squad comms. Shit. All right, we can't. I still have smokes. Would you rather yeah, have a black turban here, or a white turban at this point? No, we've got to push it. Black. I think they're both. They're both gonna be real red soon. So. <laughs> They're trying to figure out what to do. There's not too many options now. They're stuck in this bowl. If they have uh, smokes, it might help a little bit. Broadcast their location yeah, even more. Really. He's over the stuck in a if rock and a hard this... place at this point. If we uh, over this road, just like running, we'll get gunned down. Right there, there's a break. Yeah, you can use the outside of the wall and cover. Gonzo of cover. and Eliander are probably going to make contact here. They're the closest. Don't think they have direct eyes on yet at this point. Oh, and they're just making a mad dash for it with the MRAP moving. They oh, hear that nice. maneuver and they must know that the uh, MRAP is no longer watching the that area. Here we go. GL spotted. Oh, them GL spotted. How did they not kill them no. both? It, it, they're bleeding. Move, they're move, both move. bleeding. Wow. GL going for round two. Maybe. Round two. Follow up. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. You saw them go in there. Fire again. Oh, buddy. Oh, no, don't, they're just going to spray it with spray. MG fire. <laughs> Saw's just pepper in the fields. Oh, I would be wet myself right about now. <laughs> Use that shield. Come on, Gonzo. <laughs> 50 now. Lighten up the field as well. Creating space from where you were. The more space, the better. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you're in the fucking... You can just hear those rounds oh, yeah, skipping yeah, yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. On my screen, that GL looked like it hit both of them in the ankles. Just hiding down there. Getting their stamina up for another mad dash through the poppies. As soon as they stand up, they're dead. Did one go down? <laughs> Uh, I think. I yep. think he actually yep. bled yeah, out. I'm coming, I'm no, coming. no, no, no. They're, they're both up. Yeah, just they're go both up. He's just looking into the dirt. Oh. He's playing that, dead. Uh, that play dead. I think they're all around this dude. As soon as they pop yeah, up, as soon as they press anywhere. They're definitely to our west. The Vegas odds on them are uh, pretty astronomical at this point. Well, which is where we west need west to go. Yeah, which is where we need <laughs> to go. They're definitely right to our west. Yeah, yeah, I'll bet they are. <laughs> okay, I'm moving west. Well. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna be bait. I'm Black gonna Sage is gonna run in his bait. <laughs> Insurgents okay. must push to retake village. I'll Thanks, Burns. All right, he's 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 just he getting bold now, just jumping up, looking for these uh, looking for these insurgents. Well, he s said over local comms, he's like, I'm gonna be bait. B section, but. Oh, he's throwing a grenade. This will probably They're kill one. Snacking on through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh. Oh, oh no, that that'll, that'll get him. That's close. That's yeah, that'll get him. To you. He's got to be bleeding. Grenade, grenade, grenade. He's bleeding. He's bleeding. Oh, but that is a medic. Oh, that noise. Ooh. Who's got yeah, their yeah. audio cranked? Oh, did you get hit? Yeah, yeah, but Can uh, you hear that you bandage run. going off in the field? No. Nope. Black Sage is like, I don't think they're in the field. Oh, yeah. we can, we can sweep it. oh. oh. So oh! Yep, oh. there's the field, buddy! <laughs> there goes one. One for one. Fuck. Fuck. Do we have a position on that? Who's this all alone? 
Han's Han Solo, Han last Han man standing. Oh! Yo, Pepper in the Yo, field. Yo, coming in close. Another frag coming out. Oh, it's short. That's gonna make him bleed again. He's Maybe. running towards. He's gonna bleed. Oh, yep, he's bleeding. But, but he's, he's in the medic, medic, right? So he's got all the bandages. <laughs> the MRAP's coming up behind him. Oh! oh <laughs> this poor guy. Oh! HMG strafe in the field. <laughs> Calling the H10. Let's make it real. Another rocket comes in. You, they already shot that spot, though. Who is this walking up on him? He's still searching the field. Is this is when you form a, He's you know, a chain, the human chain, and walk through like you're searching for a lost child. Yeah, this is when you wish you had vitals on the actual players behind their <laughs> keyboards. <laughs> you might, he might slip through. Like, there's a very good chance he could slip through. Yeah, there was some. Short they need to get there. in that field and check it right. instead of just walking around it. They need to get in there and comb the field. Yeah, we need some some squad leader being like, you, 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 go. That's what you're a squad leader for, right? Ordering people to their doom. Deciding who dies, yeah. Oh, there we oh go. Oh my god. <laughs> that was Han the is the luckiest shot. man alive. Another one coming in. Oh my god. It's just a bad game of Battleship at this point. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh! Oh, oh my god, he got tagged by that. Oh my god, it barely missed him. It barely missed him. Jeez. How do you get tagged by a 50 and not die? He didn't. It, it must have hit his oh, hit. Okay. It must have, uh... Oh. He's get. Oh. Oh my god. He... Oh my god. Oh my god. These are literally shooting? tracing his body. Yeah. He's hit. He's bandaging. Those rounds traced his body. Oh, the guys up high are shooting at him. They might have an idea where he is. Throw a grenade. How many bandages do you think he's got left? <laughs> What's up, like? He's, he's got, got three, three bandages. Oh, that's striker right? now with the crow system. Uh. Frag's going out. <laughs> the crows is this now going like to be scanning the field with the uh, squad ops optics. mini game right here. Whack them all in the field. Yeah, I'm seeing that way. I got no eyes on. Come out, come out. <laughs> oh, oh, he gets he one. The kill. Oh, he's running! He's running! Oh, 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 oh! I wouldn't call that running. Oh, the 50 cal! Oh my god, he's still not spotted. He's avoiding the open spots. He's avoiding the open spots. He might get shot in the back here. The crows is gonna that? find him. There's no way the crows doesn't find him. They're Wand still darts. just straight in the field. Someone, they need to get in the field. Someone needs to- Oh, oh! Oh my god, he tags him. Tag and move, tag and move. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, there's a lady within the- Oh, oh he's down! The head. <laughs> that was insane. And then the grenade was wow. Oh, baby. <laughs> Rip. Wow. That was awesome. That was a round. That was a great round. Is Hamley still here? All right, thank you so much for joining us. This was Squad Ops Operation Rawhide uh, Round 2. If you'd like to learn more about Squad Ops, head over to squadops.gg or check us out on youtube.com slash squad ops and twitch.tv slash squad ops. We're going to try to get a couple interviews in here post-op so you guys can listen to some of the commander's ideas. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Karma Cut, and uh, I'm joined by Tedish. We're going to see if we can pull a couple interviews in here. we got to get Han in here, right? we got to. <laughs> Let's see who we can get. Peter Van Drone, Han Von Solo, MVP. Yeah, that was uh, the longest time surviving in a field I think I've ever seen with so many eyes on him. With two kills, right? Maybe three? Can't remember who got the kills in the beginning.
All right. Well, hello, t uh, hello, matter. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's how was on? your how how was that how was that round one? That was that was definitely a, a fun op. Uh, what did you think of the uh, dynamic operation list? You know, that was really the most interesting part. Whenever I was looking at the comparison between infantry and mechanized, I was trying to think which one is going to be more fun to use, and uh, we decided to give the infantry a try. You know, and uh, it was a little it was a little rough. We got pushed early, but we had a, a good push. Then I think everybody just kind of got stuck on that river area. It was a good time though, man. I had a blast. It was nice getting to choose, you know, it was nice getting something yeah, different. It's nice like having that. choice. I'm curious, what was your thought when you initially got engaged on and you halted that convoy? Um, I'm curious as to why you, got, you guys didn't push through to a, a better defensible location. I am really curious about that as well. I did not call for anyone to dismount <laughs> and everybody dismounted. <laughs> oh, well, uh, people panic, stress hits them, they get shook up. And I think that yep, set the tone yep. in the for the rest of the uh, that round one because uh, you could really see that there was a lot of uh, stress after that initial engagement. A lot of excitement, but a lot of stress as well. Yeah, I was trying to get the guys to just calm down. You know, we got engaged. It's okay. We're going to get moved into Mosque. We're going to set up the mortar cop, and then we're going to make a proper assault. Uh, so you just got to keep guys, you know, a little, little calm, a little relaxed, but... You know, it's okay. I had a great time, and, and that's that's all that really mattered. Um, and I think everybody else did too. I hope so anyway. I'm really interested as well. Uh, why did you choose the, uh, the city to set up your mortar instead of somewhere uh, out in the dunes? So my worry with it being out in the dunes was that they could just roll a techie wolf pack out there to hunt it down. And I figured if we put it, you know, on top of a building in the city, then the chances of them retaking that fob while we're dropping mortars is next to nil. Uh, so that was my thought process there. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Very, very, very nice to get your uh, perspective of, of uh, why you did certain things. And thank you so much for giving us a great round. Um, you could really see round two that over no one was expecting that infantry push. Nobody you was. Did, Holy yeah, no Christ. One was. You were able to get a striker right off the bat with the hat, and that was really impressive. Uh, but you could just see that aggression and violence of action from Shadow really just threw you guys off. Yeah, that was great. We have Shadow in here as well. Shadow, round one, what was your initial strategy? Um, the initial strategy was to have uh, my infantry get there as fast as possible, and they had their sectors to, to bob up in village, and then have a uh, techie wolf pack squad, and I actually gave them both of the hats and they were to take two SPGs and a, a discotech and just try to sort of swing around uh, whatever part of uh, village that the infantry or the uh, they decide to commit on. At this point, we still hadn't known what what they were. But the thing was, as soon as they pulled it north of a uh, mod or of uh, uh, Bazar, like they they just got destroyed. Like we lost both of our hats right off the bat. Most of our uh, vehicles that were there, and it definitely early game. I was I thought we were going to be hurt, and especially if they had taken. A, uh, the strikers yeah that was definitely pretty awesome to see round one that engagement uh round two your 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 bold aggressive uh plan what what kind of what kind of prompted you to go for a frontal assault right off the bat um initially hamley was, was one who brought the like the basics of this idea of let's just let's just go for it let's just let's just get in there and overwhelm the 12 people that start off there like the the cell that's there and i was like you know what this this definitely sounds like a uh, a good idea, and then we started we started to figure out which bridge, which uh, part of the uh, map we were gonna uh, cross on, like how much cover we were gonna give, and especially what to do with all of our like we decided to go the mechanized options, like what to do with our assets. And in the end, we decided with just two strikers covering the infantry as they tried to cross, we could we could do a lot with those MRAPs, and then just swing them around the south. And uh, yeah, Hamlet is the one who brought the basics of that idea, and everybody else just sort of pitched in and we molded it to what the uh, the final plan ended up being. Yeah, that, that was, was definitely awesome. awesome to watch. Yeah, round two, that was definitely fun. We also have Han Von Solo in here. Good old Han. <laughs> how was that Han. field? How, how was yeah. the dirt taste in there? How's your, how's your heart rate right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally returning to normal. How, how many kills did you pick up in there? Those guys that were peeking around the outside, was it two or three? Like, you made them pay for it, that's for damn sure. Yeah, I, I, I just wanted to get to a spot where I could see someone. You know, I figured that sooner or later they're going to run out of nades, 
They were going to run out of GLs and they were actually going to have to come in. And I figured as long as I kept moving, I would at least get one or two of them. Well, so, so in your estimation, how many U.S. soldiers were maybe checking out that field at any given point? Oh, maybe all like of them. Three, if three, I had to I estimate, all of them. All of them right? <laughs> I think we, we counted you had 17 at one point. <laughs> like, it was, it was, yeah, there were a lot left. Yeah, so I was, we were years. so close <laughs> to dying so many times. Like, there were rounds that would literally be inches from your body. <laughs> that that MRAP kind of lighting crazy. up the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, there were... That, 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 I thought I was doing okay, and then all of a sudden it felt like uh, all of the HMG fire just started going off, and I would just like not touching the mouse, not touching the keyboard, just go, <laughs> just <boom>. pray, <laughs> get just walk away from the keyboard, get on your hands and knees, and then just pray until it stopped. <laughs> and I I ended up healing myself like four oh, yeah. times. Yeah, that was actually insane. That was that was hilarious. Um. But yeah, that was great two rounds. Thank you so much, Han. Thank you so much, Shadow. Thank you so much, Matter, for commanding and give us a, giving us a great show. Uh, once again, my name is uh, Karmica. I'm the founder and director here at Squad Ops. I'm joined by uh, Tedish, uh, my co-commentator and an admin on the servers. Um, and also Penn, who is the man behind the magic. He's the one doing all the multicam and all the picture-in-picture stuff. So big shout out to Penn. Thank you so much, Matter and Shadow, for commanding this operation, giving us, giving us a good show. Han, thank you for giving us a great last <laughs> scene. That was that was epic. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, every, everyone, for tuning in. If you'd like to check out more Squad Ops, go ahead and check out YouTube.com slash Squad Ops or Twitch.tv slash Squad Ops. And then uh, we give away one copy of Squad every month on our Twitch. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, if you're looking more, yeah. And, and if uh, you're looking for more content, uh, we'll be back in about 6 p.m. Uh-huh. Pacific for session two, where we'll be running the same operation, different players. Uh, but yeah, we're running the second event at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific today. But yeah, check out squadops.gg for all of our event information and community information. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. We really do appreciate it and uh, like putting on a good show for you guys. So thank you so much. And uh, that's pretty much it. Squad Ops signing off.